All right, guys. So we get uh, if you want to reconstruct the tiers, uh, I would say this is a tier A signing, right? Um, we get guard. I'm just going to call him guard for now. Lakin Tomlinson, formerly of the Detroit Lions and 49ers, to come over to the Jets. So we get him on a three year deal, uh, 40 million with 27 million of that guaranteed. Um, and then I'm pretty sure there's some workout bonuses, roster bonuses, something like that that's tied to it. Maybe like, you know, Pro Bowl berths or something. Uh, cause I, and I want to say it was Schefter. He marks that the, uh, total value of the deal is 41.2 million. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. If the Jets reach the playoff, if we, you know, Tomlinson reaches the, the, um, pro bowl, stuff like that. Uh, interestingly enough though, we're picking up a guard that might be essentially kind of entering his prime for us. And, uh, you know, he's put a lot of great film on, on, uh, uh, excuse me, a lot of great work on the film uh, during his time with the 49ers because it kind of seemed like he was essentially going to be a bust uh, with the Lions. But then he goes right to the 49ers. Um, <laughs> sometimes new, new, new landscape does wonders for you, right? So comes to the 49ers, 80 consecutive starts. Um, just came off of potentially a Pro Bowl berth as a, basically like a backup Pro Bowler um, in 2021. And then aside from the consistency, which is something we should all be shouting and praising for uh, with the rash of injuries we've been hit with, <laughs> he, he pretty much redefines his career, right? So it, it's another player kind of in the mold of the art and key for me where we see him on the upswing of his career, let alone he has to tie to Robert Sala and LaFleur. He can come in, he's already going to pretty much... Uh, be expecting for the most part, of course, coaches are going to change things up as they go from team to team, but he's familiar with the scheme. It shouldn't really be like a full catch up period. If anything, um, he has a quick, uh, you know, one on one class about what the offense is looking like for the Jets. Now, the only thing that's going to be a little bit of projection here is he's been purely a left guard at his time in the league. Um, now I did see that it seems like the Jets are comfortable and, uh, the understanding is he is going to be our, our starting right guard and they're comfortable with him making that transition over and don't really see a drop off in production or anything crazy there. Um, so that would be the only really risque kind of part of, uh, acquiring the, acquiring Tomlinson for our line, but it, it does wonders <laughs> for us right now, even if we keep Connor McGovern, Mackay Becton. Elijah Barry Tucker, Connor McGovern, Lakin Tomlinson, and then Makai Becton or George Fant on the other side, let alone whatever we do on the draft. Um, you know, still I hear a lot of people clamoring that they would love to get Ika McWanu um, or an Evan Neal if they're sitting there. Um, I still personally would love to bring in a Tyler Linderbaum. There's Zion Johnson that's, you know, maybe available at the top of the second. Uh, maybe the the back part of the first if we do a trade back or something like that. Um and so it, 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 I don't think there's a million pieces that we need it. At least this gives us a, a, an above average starter for the next two years on the line. Um, but but I think we should still definitely be sinking some resources in during the draft just so we can have somebody developing in the wings because we know we're not going to see these people through into retirement, of course. Um, but I'm, I'm extremely excited, let alone do we get the chemistry and familiarity um, we get a we get a <laughs> a B plus player that we're bringing in, <clears throat> and it's pretty much a plug and play. It doesn't get much better than that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I know Austin Corbett was another name that people would have been happy with, but I, I think this is a win win uh, across the board for us. It's not a, a crazy ridiculous deal, um, but it definitely fits. I think what we'll see from him. So super excited either way. I will catch up. Hopefully um, we get some more news later on throughout the week. Um, I would have to imagine tight end is going to be the next bit of information that we get unless it's, uh, you know, some kind of defensive depth piece or a safety. Uh, so fingers crossed. But uh, catch up with you guys again.